Hello, this is the first of the seven videos that I'm going to post in the coming days. In fact, this program is called Academia, which is a search after truth. Since the age of nine, I've been looking for answers to find the meaning of life, the world and the cosmos. And I'm still looking for these, but a lot of answers have found me. I cannot say that I have found them, but I stubbornly look for answers, the answers start to come. So in fact, I have gathered all this in simple 23 videos and made these 23 videos into seven uh, groups of videos. So this is the first one called Maya, the illusion. Do you know that each day we are generating information much more than the amount of information that has been generated in the last 3000 years of humanity? So this is incredible, incredible data or knowledge is not the problem the problem of the current modernity is to harmonize them and synchronize them into meaningful output so my videos the set of videos are intended to give you a map of life the world cosmos and yourself hello everyone socrates says that a life unquestioned is a life that is not worth living. That's true. Let's ask one of the biggest questions in this life. What is the real meaning of life? Why do this life exist? This is a question that has been asked for thousands of years. And my answer is evolution. I'm not talking about the evolution that Darwin talked about. This life is for the evolution of our spirits. The spirit incarnates into materialistic bodies for a reason, for an experience in this theater of duality. This theater of duality is good or bad, right or wrong, just or unjust, but it poses a lot of opportunities for the immortal and unlimited soul with limited capabilities of this materialistic world. The reason for this material is for the evolution of our spirit. Thank you. Hello everyone, now let's ask another big question. Where do we come from and where do we go? Sufism has a great answer to that. According to Sufism, all this universe is an ocean. It's the ocean of the absolute truth. And this ocean is consisting of droplets, which are representing the souls. But please note that the ocean or the universe is much bigger than the sum or the total of the droplets or the souls because God is not limited to the total of the souls or the universe. God is much beyond that because it's infinite. So as souls incarnated into limited bodies, bodies made of flesh, we are in a journey for our spiritual evolution. So we come from God and we are going to return back to God. So we come from the ocean as droplets and we are going to go back to the ocean again. What can we know? This is another big question. This question has been asked by many scientists and philosophers for thousands of years. What can we really know? So in the ancient wisdom teachings, the absolute truth and the material truth have been uh, distinguished in a different way. It's been separated. So Maya, the illusionary world, is what we can perceive. And there's a limitation to that through our senses, through our brain, and through our uh, intuition. So we are trying to understand the absolute truth with our limited potential, while the absolute truth is beyond our perception, understanding, and discernment. So we are, try we are in a quest with our limited potential and what we are after is unlimited. So what can we know? We can know as much as our consciousness. Hello, the previous question was, what can we know? And the answer was limited to our perception. It's limited to our consciousness. And consciousness starts with awareness. It's becoming aware of this illusionary world and then trying to transcend it. It's, it starts by asking 
powerful questions. It's about asking open-ended questions. It's a quest after truth. It's a quest for the unknown with limited potential that we have in this world. However, as souls coming from this absolute ocean of truth, beauty and love, we've got unlimited potential. We just have to remember it in this bodies of flesh and bone. So everything starts with awakening. Thank you.